टुडे टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज क्राफ्ट रिजेक्शन टिश्यू क्राफ्टिंग इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट सर्जिकल प्रोसेस इमेजिन सपोज यू हैव य थर्ड डिग्री बर्न इन युवर हैंड्स एंड य क्राफ्ट फ्रॉम अदर प्लेसेस ऑफ युवर बॉडी कैन रिपेयर द स्किन और रिप्लेस द स्किन इन दट बर्न्ड एरिया सो that is why it is a nice process but there is a risk associated with this process they would be rejection of craft and our goal is to why craft would be rejected here is an example of burn site one possibility is the craft would be appropriate it won't be rejected and it accepted by the recipient so healing after crafting there would be another possibility as well that it did not heal and the graft is rejected and a necrosis happened in that particular region now our question is why Uh, sometimes craft is rejected and why sometimes craft would be accepted let's look at rejection of craft first question why the craft is rejected and what are the key cellular player that mediate the craft rejection then what is the time scale of rejection before that we will discuss few terms so first one is autocraft what is autocraft it is a self tissue transformed self tissue transformed from one body location to another body location in the same individual for example you have a burn site in your hands so from your leg a portion of skin is taken and crafted on your hand so this kind of situation is an example of auto craft then iso craft means transferring of this craft between genetically genetically identical individual say for example monozygotic twin or identical twins then allo craft what is allo craft it is a situation where the craft is transferred between two members transfer between two members of the same species by their genetic makeup might be different here is a chance of rejection of allo craft is pretty high unless or until sudden uh, criteria as are matched so here two possibility whether rejection or it will accepted so auto craft same individual one location to another location iso craft means identical twin we will transfer allo craft means same species human only will transfer lastly the extreme most situation zeno craft what is zeno craft uh, that is a situation when a craft is obtained from different species all together and crafted to an individual from animal to human chimpanzee to human now let's uh, let us take a specific example a portion of our skin is burned and we need to craft a skin tissue to repair it so auto craft is given to that particular burn site and let's see what happen once the auto craft is given there would be revascularization there would be revascularization just underneath that damaged site there would be some amount of human cells creating a little bit of inflammation little bit of inflammation in that area but over time 
in a course seven to ten days that portion would be healed now you cannot like distinctions between that burned area versus the healed area right and ultimately it would be resolved in a span of two weeks so, so here we will do after crafting after some inflammation little bit inflammation will happen after that within 10 to 24 days here it will accept ultimately it would be resolved in span of two weeks now let's talk about aloe craft in this aloe craft similarly there would be vascularization phase in aloe craft a lot of immune cell would be moving out of this vascularized region and would mount an immune response against that graft there would be cellular infiltration there would be intense inflammation ultimately this might leads to huge amount of cytokines or inflammatory cytokine secretion in that region accumulation of all these factor would ultimately create huge inflammation huge inflammation uh, response which might leads to a necrosis necrosis of that particular region and ultimately what we would see from outside that graft is rejected and this also happened in a time of uh, course of 10 to 14 days 10 to 14 days there would be two type of craft rejection first uh, set craft rejection which kind of uh, takes place 14 to 15 days second set of rejection takes place uh, uh, within 10 days how fast the craft would be rejected is shown here now let's talk about what are the key cells key cell types that are behind graft rejection and the answer come from classical experiment there is a strain of mouse there is a strain of mouse which is known as naive strain or native strain so first skin craft would be given to this particular strain to particular strain from a mouse strain a so the craft is introduced to mouse strain b so there would be first set of rejection possibility first set of rejection possibility if the craft is does not craft is not matching and the immune system of this mouse is considering it to be a foreign substance and that happened in course of 14 days this one happened in 14 days then then uh, there would be a second set of crafting and there would be rejected in a time span of a further 10 days further 10 days if now particular uh, if particular cells type such as t cells such as t cells uh, are taken from first set of rejection taken from first set, uh, first set of rejection mice and injected to a naive strain and injected to a naive strain then it show a kinetic uh, which is very similar to a second set of rejection so after putting the prime T cells in a strain B mouse and then crafting the tissue leads to a second set of rejection. The kinetic become faster that tell us in turn T cell or T helper cell might have a role in term of craft rejection. There is another set of experiment which teases this phenomena in a more 
confirmative way so there are four set of mouse and we have given craft four set of mouse we given craft we have given specific antibody such as anti cd8 antibody to neutralize the cd8 t cell population then in the set 3 we have given anti cd4 to neutralize the t helper cell and lastly uh, give a combination of anti cd4 and anti cd8 and let's look at the survival of craft in each of these cases we see this kind of craft we have blocked both this one both cd4 plus uh, cd8 plus t cell craft survival time here craft survival time is very high compared to simply blocked any of this type of t cells so these both anti cd4 and anti cd8 crafting survival time is high and comparing to simply blocked t cells this experiment tell us that t cell is a key player behind this craft rejection phenomena now let's talk about two phases of craft rejection first one is sensitization sensitization phase another one is effector phase this sensitization phase the craft is recognized as foreign substance in the effector phase necrosis or damage happen so here craft which would have dendritic cell macrophages etc in that craft and it is showing or displaying the antigen that is presented in those craft and that can be treated as foreign by the t cell present in the recipient so dendritic cell express specific molecules known as class 2 mhc now t helper cell would get activated mhc cells once t cells or t helper cells are activated by means of by means of macrophages come from this craft tissue and it can secrete various cytokines such as interleukin 2 6 etc and all of those cytokine in turn activate different type of cell population such as cd8 cytotoxic cell population b cells cd8 plus cells now there are multiple response that can happen for example tddh cells tddh cells can secreted interferon gamma that might activate macrophages and activated macrophages secrete several lytic enzyme which can damage tissue then cd positive cytotoxic t cells can secreted ferferin and granzyme to lysis the tissue also there would be antibody mediated response antibody might determine specific epitope on this craft tissue and there would be antibody dependent cytotoxic response mediated by natural killer cells 
or other cell type a combination of all the cellular mechanism leads to all mechanism leads to necrosis or apoptosis or huge amount of necrosis in that particular crafter region that leads to craft rejection so all the cells activity will leads to um, apoptosis or necrosis so this uh, necrosis and apoptosis leads to craft rejection so what we have learned for the cellular mechanism but in order to prevent craft rejection there are specific precaution which are taken first and foremost first and foremost thing hla typing so mhc molecules are play a key role in turn of sensitization phase of that craft rejection hla typing is done before transplantation HLA typing done before transplantation. Thanks for watching.